What is the impact of COVID on the Philippine economy and what are its opportunities? Right? So this is a question that we got from one of our, the present community members, which is coming from Mona Lisa. That's a really good name. And fun fact, she was actually my classmate way back when I was still in grade school. So it's just amazing that um, she's also part of the community. So thank you so much for asking this question. And if this is the first time that we're seeing each other, guys, uh, my name is Jan, and we produce content regarding business, finance, and life-related matters. So if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified. Now, obviously, guys, when it comes to the COVID situation in the world, not just in the Philippine market, but also in the U.S. market and throughout the entire world, uh, the challenges are very big, right? So I would say that there are four impacts specifically that happened to the economy because of COVID, okay? So I'm really, I'm really sure that you're excited to know more about this, and let's get into the topic. So the first impact is what we call people are fearful at the same time uncomfortable, Okay? They are fearful for the with the fact that there is a virus out there that they cannot see, but there is a chance that they can be affected or infected by that virus, and it can also be a financial constra cost, financial constraints the moment they get that specific virus because they have to check themselves in the hospital, and that means they have bills to pay, right? But for those people who did not get the virus, they are, they are also uncomfortable with the fact that they have to go out, they have to wear a mask, and here in the Philippines, we have to wear a face shield, right? And when you enter a specific establishment, you need to do some QR coding or a temp check or a floor mat. You have to step on this specific floor mat to get yourself disinfected and so on and so forth. So which is very understandable because it's part of the regulation and the government is trying to do its best to prevent the spread of COVID. But the point is, the fact that the people are fearful and it's very uncomfortable, just like what you're seeing here on your screen right now, right? There is a virus and the way for us to prevent the virus from spreading out is for us to wear masks. It's quite annoying in a way, right? And especially in the beginning that people are not used to it. Some people got allergies because of it. But as time flies, it has been almost one year since the lockdown, so we got used to it a little bit. But the point is, it's quite uncomfortable for you to go to, to places and go through the protocols because of it. So that's one impact. That is why we have this called new normal. Okay? So some people are working from home. They don't even know how to use a computer, but they are forced to use the computer and access internet connection, especially the older generation because they don't have a choice, right? So that's the first impact. Now, the second impact is also about the businesses, <clears throat> right? I mean to say businesses are losing revenue. They are losing sales, okay? Because people are fearful and because people are finding it, finding it uncomfortable for them to go out, what ends up happening is that consumers don't like to spend money as much as they used to. They want it to be delivered to them. That is why online shopping is the trend right now. People want to have their products delivered to them. People want the service to go to them. It's because it's safer that way. But there are some businesses that cannot do that. For example, if you own a restaurant, right? You are renting a space. And part of that rental is that you are forecasting that you're going to earn revenue through dine-in. But because people are afraid to go out, that's also an impact on your end because you don't get dine-ins anymore. That means you are losing sales, right? So that is also the reason why um, people nowadays or businesses nowadays are trying their best to pivot their business into online because the market is there, okay? Now, because the business is suffering when it comes to their sales, that means they still have to pay their operational expenses. That also means that their profits are massively affected, which is why the impact, the third impact is employees are losing their jobs, right? We've seen this on our newsfeed. We've known some people who lost their jobs because 
they, the company cannot sustain the operational expenses. They cannot pay for their wages. They cannot pay for whatever it is that they have to pay for because they are losing sales, right? And because employees are losing their jobs, that's the impact towards the people because they don't earn money anymore. They don't have money to spend, okay? Specifically, specifically in the following industries, tourism, right? So if you have a like theme park or hotels here in the city, here, are, here in Davos City, we have a specific hotel here that has been existing for quite some time, but they had to shut it down or indefinite closure. It's because of that, right? Businesses are losing. There are no tourists they are coming to the Davos City, so they had to shut it down, okay? Unless they're going, uh, if, they, if they don't do it, then expect that their profits will really go down or they may, they may even lose more money, right? The, a, the airlines industry, they are kicking out or laying off employees because, because they don't have a choice. So sadly, um, but that's just the reality of what's happening to the economy because of COVID. And the last impact is the economy was also down. As of this recording, it may be going up, but during the lockdown, during the pandemic, especially during the lockdown, the market was really down, okay? And let me show you a fact. This is the PSEI that you're seeing now on your screen, right? During the lockdown, which happened around March 2020, it came to a point that the PSEI came to 4,000 points. 4,000 points, right? So that's quite low. It's a 50% drop, if I'm not mistaken. And not just the Philippine economy. We also have the U.S. economy, which they use the S&P 500, the top 500 companies in the United States. They use that as their reference, and it also went down, which it came to a point that it reached 2,200 points during the pandemic. See? So the economy was down. And um, that's also the reason why, you know, like the businesses are down, employees are losing, losing their job, and people are afraid to go, to go out, and they're also finding it uncomfortable to go out. So the economy has suffered along with it. It's like a ripple effect, if you notice, okay? But here's the truth. Here's the good thing about it. Even though there are impact to the economy, right, the four impacts, there are also opportunities that we can see. Okay, opportunities that we can see. The first one is what we call opportunity number one is that invest when the market is on sale, right? Try to imagine what if you invested money during the lockdown? It's, it's ironic, I know, for some people to think that why would you invest money during the lockdown uh, when the market is down, right? It's because most of the time, the money is bigger, your gains are actually bigger when you invest during the bear market, when you invest during times of pessimism, right? That is why here in your screen right now, you can see that the stock market of the PSEI, which is the top 30 companies in the Philippines, imagine if you invested during the 4,000 points, right? It currently has 7,000 points. That's a jump of 3,000 points, okay? The market is quite up right now, but it still hasn't reached its fullest potential. That is the PSEI. How about the S&P 500, right? As you can see here on your screen, it's the same logic. If you invested during the lockdown, your money would have been astronom astronomically increased because of it. So that is, that is why people say that it is the best time to invest in the market when it is on sale. So we have a different thinking, right? Imagine if the groceries are on sale. <clears throat> we, want to inv we want to buy a lot of things. We want to hoard those things. It's because it's on sale and we're gonna use it, right? So it ends up, what ends up happening is that you're saving a lot of money because it's on sale and you have a lot of stocks. So why can't we apply that same principle when it comes to stock market investing? See, so the impact, which is the economy was down, is actually an opportunity. 
for people to invest in the marketplace. This is not opinion, it's actually a fact. And that is why I showed you the screenshots a while ago in both markets, in the Philippine stock market and the US stock market, because that's just really what it is. Right? Now, how about another opportunity is that employees turn into entrepreneurs. Okay? The impact was that the businesses are suffering, they are not earning revenue, and that is why they are forced to let go of their employees because they can't afford to pay them. Right? But on the contrary, because of that situation, employees are now turning into entrepreneurs. For example, what we notice is that people are now using Food Panda or online shopping sites like Shopee, Lazada to sell whatever it is that they have to sell because they need to make a living. If they, know, if they don't have a source of income, their expenses are still there. So they don't have a choice but to find a way to generate a revenue stream, an alternative revenue stream so that they can live. Right? So all we, we, we understand that when we are entrepreneurs, we are basically solving a problem. Right? So in that case, the problem of the employee, the former employee in this case, is that they don't have a revenue stream. So that is why we've seen a lot of small shops opening or selling their goods. They are cooking in their house and have it, have it delivered through Food Panda or Grab Food. It's because it's their business right now. So that's the opportunity that I see, right? Like the employees became entrepreneurs. It's because they don't have a choice. They really had to do it because they don't have a choice. Okay? So those are the two opportunities that I see and the four impacts that I mentioned a while ago. So thank you, Mona, for asking that question. Now, I want to throw back the question to you. Okay? How did COVID-19 affect or impacted the economy? That's the first question. And you support the... You, another question would be, how can you take advantage of it right so we have the impact and we have the advantage how the opportunity how can you mix up both so that you will take advantage of what's happening to the market let me know in the comment section and by the way if this video added value to you in any way feel free to click the like button so that it will help our youtube channel out thank you so much for watching this video and see you on the next one